Hi there. Somebody asked recently about um, pretty ways to print lists. So in Python, we call this pretty printing, which just means printing something in a way that doesn't look all computery. It's a little more natural and human readable, what you might expect to see on a website or in documentation. So I have my list of cats here, and I'd like to print my list of cats. So I could do print cats, um, and uh, that's cool, but look at this. This is not pretty printing, right? This is like computery printing. Uh, so what I might do is loop over every item in the list and say like for C and cats print C. And then I get, well, it's a vertical list. Um, and that might work for some of your use cases, but a lot of people want to be able to print a list with commas between the items, but not have that awkward square, square brackety quotey thing. And so um, this is where the end parameter comes in handy. You can say, uh, print this item, and instead of ending each print statement with a new line, like going to the next going to the next line like we do here, instead of ending with a new line, we'll end with a comma space. So think about what this might do now. For every cat, we'll print the cat, and then we'll print comma space. So I run this. This sounds a little more promising. Dodger, comma, dodger, comma, space, Linus, comma, space, busy, comma, space. Oh, this awkward comma space at the end of my list. I don't really like that. Like I want the list, but without that comma at the end. Um, and so there are two ways you can go about solving this. I'm going to show these to you real quickly. One way is to take a make a string here. So um, let's do like um, uh, pcats for, for printable cats. Uh, and we'll call that an empty string. And then instead of printing here, we'll just do pcats plus equals cat plus. Uh, so pcats plus equals means... Let's do it like this, pcats equals pcats plus. So whatever pcats was before, we'll add a cat to it, and then we'll add a comma space to it. And now when I run it, nothing happens because I didn't print the string. So once I'm done with the list, I can print pcats. P stands for printable cats. I don't know, I kind of made that up. Nice, except I still have that awkward comma at the end. And here's where string slicing can come in to save us. Uh, so after I'm done with the list, Let's, um, instead of printing all the pcats, we can print the slice the list and take off the last two items on the list. So this is string slicing, where we go from the very beginning, which is zero, or you don't even have to put the zero, uh, zero through the negative, the, the second to last item in the list. And so I took why, why, why negative two, why second to last? Because it's that last comma space that I want to get rid of there. Notice if I do like the third to last, it's going to take off the third to last character, which is going to be the Y, and just give me bus. So we want to go to the second to last. All right. This seems like a lot of work to do for one simple thing, like print me a list in a way that looks kind of pretty. Uh, and it is a lot. It is a lot to do. So Python has a built-in function that will make this a little bit more straightforward for you. I say a little bit because it's a lot less code, but it is uh, not too easy to remember. And here's what we're going to do. Uh, take my list of cats. Then um, um, I'm going to say pcats, printable cats. Um, this is a string, right? Gets in quotes. Put the thing that I want to be between each item in the list. So this is the separator, the thing that I had in the print statement before, right? But after the string, I'll put a dot. So I have the string and then a dot join and then the list name. So I have string dot join and then in parentheses the list name. That will take, so this is a built-in function in Python that runs on a string and it'll join together all the items in the, li the list with this string between them and not at the end, just the way we want it. Again, I run this code. Nothing's going to happen because all I did was store this in a variable called pcats. So let's print pcats, and we get what we like. So that is a much more convenient way to print, pretty print a list. So print a list with separators between them but not at the end.